guys, so today I'm so excited about this video. I'm going to be showing you all the new Hourglass Ambient Lighting blushes, which I'm so excited about. You guys know my obsession with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting powders. If you're not familiar with those, I will link to the video um, all about those below. Those are basically like a range of powders that create like a soft focused effect. You can sort of like dust them all over. You can do so many different things with them and they just sort of like blur your imperfections and just give you like a really beautiful finish. And so when I heard that they were coming out with blushes, I really was excited. So I've had these for a little bit now and I wanted to really wait until they were readily available. They've done little releases on Sephora and things where they sell out. But now they're back at Sephora and you can get them. Um, I will link below and um, do all the descriptions, everything below. But you can also go to my blog for more detailed swatch photos. Um, but basically there are six shades. They come in um, containers that are very similar to the regular Hourglass um, ambient lighting powder. This is what the original ones are, or not the original, but just the regular ambient lighting powders. And these are called ambient lighting blush. Um, just for reference, the ambient lighting powder are 0.35 ounces, and these are 0.15, and these are $35. Very similar in size to that of a NARS blush. I think the NARS is like 0.16, and they're $30. Um, so a little more, but. I've been really impressed with them. So I'm going to go through all the shades. So what makes these different from a regular traditional blush is that every single one of these shades is sort of, it looks almost like a mineralized skin finish or something like that from MAC. Um, however, the lighter shades that are in here, like you can kind of see that yellowy shade, it is an actual shade the blush shades are actually infused with the regular ambient lighting powder shades. So like this is called diffused heat. So it's this beautiful like coral shade mixed in with the diffused light. So this is what it looks like up close. It's de described as a vibrant poppy mixed with of course that diffused light. And um, you can see that's how it swatches. However, I will have photos up on the blog. And that's how that looks. So you can see they're very pigmented. That one really sort of reminds me sort of of like a beautiful like pinky coral. Sort of like a NARS, um, the NARS Orgasm or something like that. These are very, I'm going to go through all of the colors like that, but they're very smooth. They do have, if you're wondering, a bit of a sparkle, a bit of a sheen. However, that's really good for blush. Frost is what you kind of want to stay away from where blush is concerned. Um, however, if you can find one that's got a good natural sparkle like this, it just sort of, um, sort of like gives you a natural finish. I try to stay away from totally flat blushes because those can kind of age you and it kind of can look a little too flat. Um, but if it has a bit of a sheen, a tiny bit of a sparkle, not like glitter or anything, but just like this, like this beautiful sparkle, then it can be really flattering. Okay, so the next one is Dim Infusion, and this is described as a subdued coral, and it is mixed with the Dim Light shade, and you can tell by the names, like this is called Dim Infusion, so you can tell it's mixed with the Dim Light, um, and it gives it some warmth. This one is a very, it's one of the two lighter shades, um, I think, and you can see it still swatches beautifully. Right there, probably should have done my nails for this video, but whatever. Now see, it looks very light. That's what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. And I actually, when I applied it, had to really sheer it out. So I'll tell you about the brushes that I like to use for these at the end. But like, it really, I mean, I really had to sheer it out. Um, and I'm probably gonna have to do that again, but it's just so beautiful. Um, this, I feel, is honestly one of the best coral blushes I've ever used. I will say probably the best coral blush I've ever used. It can be tricky to find good ones that don't look orange or um, that look soft enough but that actually show up. And it's just sort of like a really bright coral that's mixed in there. This is a really good one. Definitely one of my favorites. All right, next one is Ethereal Glow, and it's described as a, as a cool pink blush fused with Ethereal Light for a moonlit luminosity. And this is the lighter pink that I spoke of before. Like there's two that kind of look light. There's a really light coral and a lighter pink. I don't know if you'll be able to see, um, but it swatches really beautiful. It's like a really glowy pink. This one applies very similar. To, it's it's surprising um, to the coral one that I just spoke of, the Dim Infusion. Um, it looks very light, but it's going to give you sort of like a 
bright pink, sort of like a like a glowy radiant look. So this is a good one. I mean, I say that about all of them, but they all they all are really good and different in their own way. All right, this one is called Luminous Blush. It's a champagne rose blush fused with luminous light to evoke a candlelit glimmer. Yes, I am reading the descriptions. <laughs> um, this one is a little brighter, and you can see that right there. I think any of these can be used with anybody. Even the lighter shades, they would just be more of like a brightening like glow. I think that would look really pretty. Next up is this one called Mood Exposure, and it says it's a soft plum blush fused with mood light to brighten the complexion. You can see that is a very nice sort of, um, it's to me like a warm plum almost with a bit of like a bronziness to it. But like I said, I think I think anyone could wear it. Um, let's see, how many do I have left? Did I put these back? Got mixed up with how many I talked about. And then finally, Radiant Magenta. It says it's a golden fuchsia blush combined with radiant light for a summer glow. Put that right there. I feel like these two are very similar, the Luminous Flush and the Radiant Magenta. However, the Radiant Magenta is going to be a bit more of a bright pink. The Luminous Flush is going to be a bit more of a coral pink. When you swatch them, they are extremely, extremely similar. And I even um, put them on my hands so you could, I'll put it over it again, so you can see. It's hard to even distinguish a difference, to be honest with you. I mean, they are very, very similar. I would say maybe the Radiant Magenta is just a hair darker, um, but they're very similar in tone. They're both very beautiful. So if you were going to get like two of them, I probably would not buy these two. I would either get one or the other and then choose one that's just totally different. Um, as for the ones I really recommend, it's really super difficult. I really love this one that I'm wearing today, the Dim Infusion. It's a be just a beautiful, fresh coral. But any of the other ones are just so great, too. I've worn them all, and I feel like they're all just great in their own way. This Mood Exposure is reminds me of my Exposed by Tarte, my Amazonian clay. Um, or even like the Chanel Accent, which I believe is limited edition. You can't get any more. But this is just a really great one, too. They're all so great. The pinks, the, they're just really nice, and it's all about personal preference. So if you need more of a peek into them, you want to just like really look at the swatches side by side, maybe you could even distinguish a bit more of a difference between these two in my photos. Um, go on over to my blog. I will link that below. As for the brush that I like to use with them, there's two that I mainly reach for. The F40, which is no surprise. This is my favorite blush brush. It really um, puts down a lot of color. If you want a more like diffused look, the F50, it's like a duo fiber brush, works great too. Whatever you want to use. I will do an outfit of the day. Uh, is there anything else I want to tell you before I do that? I'm going to show you a new bag that I got. I'm really excited about it. Um, oh, I didn't do like a home decor post this week on the blog. I do one every week, but um, I did my uh, chocolate whiskey cake recipe on Wednesday on my blog. But um, the reason I held off on my home decor post is because... And you probably saw what I'm doing. I'm working on like a little project in the laundry room um, that I posted on Instagram. But I, it kind of goes hand in hand with something else that I'm doing. So there's going to be two posts coming up this week on um, Tuesday and Thursday. I'm going to try to do um, a home blog on Tuesday and Thursday on, you know. Uh, so if you were looking for that this week, that's where that went. So yeah, these blushes are available now at Sephora. I will link to that below and I will do a quick outfit of the day. Alright, so today I'm doing plaid and leopard, one of my favorite combos. I am wearing my splendid flannel top, which you've probably seen before. Flannel, plaid, but it's not super thick, but it's just really soft. Um, I have these new skinnies by Seven for All Mankind that I love. It was I was due for a new pair of skinnies from Seven, and I really wanted a um, distressed pair. You can see this one is these are just perfect. Um, I will link to the exact pair below. Um, but they just have just the right amount of distressed. Uh, look to them, but they're very dark almost black. I believe the color was like black something so expected them to be black But I actually really love the dark like indigo and then I'm wearing my um, Leopard BCBG pumps that I uh, showed in my Sephora haul and shoe haul video uh, Last week or the week before I don't remember um, but anyways, yeah, these are just so comfortable and then 
my new bag. I'm so excited. I might do a video about this. If you want to see one, let me know. Um, I know Chanel bags are sort of ridiculous and a big purchase, but um, I've been wanting this for a long time. It's the Jumbo Caviar, and I just think it's the perfect size. I actually bought Vintage. Um, I did not... This, this one is a specific one that I wanted. I kind of know a ridiculous amount about Chanel bags. It's kind of embarrassing. I knew I wanted the Jumbo Caviar. I'll, I mean, I'll do a video and explain. Um, but I really wanted one of the last gold-plated versions. <sighs> I'm really white. I think it's just the bag and the camera. I don't know what's going on. Um, any of them that were sold after 2009 don't have the gold plating. You can kind of see that the um, logo is really flat, too. Um, and it has the little mark, you know, saying that it was gold plated. Any of them that are gold since then aren't gold plated. They're just like gold colored, just like the silver ones are silver in color. So I set my heart on one of those. I wanted the single flap and um, really, really lucked out. I didn't get it on eBay. I'll do a video talking all about how I got it and all that good stuff. Um, but I'm just so excited about it. I took it to a Chanel boutique. I mean, I knew it was authentic and I had all the, you know, I, I know, like I said, I know kind of a shameful amount about them. Yeah, I even took it and they said that I could, since it's um, gold plated, you can actually bring them and Chanel will like re-gild the hardware if you ever need it. And I'm just so excited about it. And I, it's, I mean, I don't think, I don't think it was even ever carried. I mean, it's in such good shape. This is a 2009, um, which I don't know if you can call vintage, but I'm going to. But I just really love it. It's just so perfect, and I'm so excited about it. And I will do a video about it if you want to see. I might just go ahead and film it. I mean, I don't know. I might go ahead and film it. I have on my earrings the little studs that I always wear that are, um, I got them at the Juicy Couture outlet years back. Um, a necklace from thecurrentcustom.com and this is the cheaper version. She has one that's very expensive like the disc necklaces that are like gold and diamonds. This is just, it was a cheaper version. Um, I think it's like CZ and something else. Um, so this isn't the really expensive one but it's really pretty. Um, and then my Nashelle little initial thing and I actually when I bought this I got it at this little store at the beach actually. I think it was at um, a Michael Starr's little boutique in Destin. They had these at the register and they're that Nichelle brand and I found a D. They only had like three and one was a D so and then it has a little lemon quartz on it and my friend a long time ago gave me this little charm on a necklace and it's the same type of little charm as the lemon quartz but it's a sapphire so I put that on there and it kind of made it look even more like a little charm necklace. So yeah, I'll film a video about the bag just because I'll probably be carrying it, I mean obviously for the rest of my life, but if you have any questions about it and stuff, I do want to sort of like review it and show you. I've had it for a little while now. Um, I've kind of been like hesitant to show it because I know those are really kind of, um, but, but it's a good story. I'll, I'll tell you all about how I got it and all that. So I'll post that next week, uh, maybe even as like an extra video next week. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Check out these blushes. They are amazing. And I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.